Gorilla Soccer Online is part of the Gorilla Sports collection and still has a five star rating. Although there's only four ratings so far, they've all been perfect ratings. This describes itself as an interesting sports VR competitive game. And obviously you play as a gorilla. The locomotion is of course inspired by Gorilla Tag. You're running, jumping, knocking the soccer ball around with your hands. It's a free multiplayer game like probably everything on this list today. The only two reviews, one of them says it's fun and the other says mean because of the way the community had taken a dip, but then it says it got better again. But there there really should be a report and mute button. What do you think of this game? You should leave a review because at this point that review is going to be pretty pivotal to its overall score. Chimp Chase 2, although it just says Chimp Chase, there's two different versions on App Lab, and Chimp Chase 2 has a four and a half star rating with 119 ratings. This game advertises itself as a Gorilla Tag locomotion game, but with better graphics. They even say amazing graphics. It's got 79% five star ratings with some splits in the four, three, and one star categories. People saying it's a 10 out of 10. People saying it's really fun. People bringing up some of the issues in the game that need to be fixed in the reviews. And even one review saying it's the best ripoff that they've seen ever. <laughs> With the number of reviews on it, it shows that this game is a little more well known, but it's one of the top ones as far as ratings go. Have you tried this one too? What did you think? Backrooms VR, which is kind of a ripoff of No Clip VR, which is a ripoff of Escape the Backrooms, actually has a 4.4 rating with 234 ratings. They say this is a smallish Backrooms VR game that uses the Gorilla Tech locomotion. They even say in the description because they were too lazy to write their own locomotion. We are exploring the Backrooms level zero one, the pool rooms, and of course there's entities like most backrooms games. Mostly positive reviews, 74% five star reviews, people saying it's really fun, it's awesome, it's good. And with very few lower reviews, most of them are citing glitches or issues in the game. I wonder if there'll be another backroom somewhere on this list. Gorilla Volleyball is another one in the Gorilla Sports collection, but has a much lower score than Gorilla Soccer. Currently at about a 4.1 with only five ratings. No one has left a written review yet. So four of those were five stars and one of those was a one star dragging this one down. It's basically volleyball, but with your hands bouncing around the course. And I love how even in the trailer, one of the monkeys is named these nuts. If you check this out, leave them a review so that at least someone knows what to expect can go read something about it. Monkey Runners just came out this year and has about a 4.2 rating. Monkey Runners, of course, looking like another Gorilla Attack clone, but with a bit of a smaller environment and the trailer even citing some issues that they had in development that left some holes in the game. People still are giving it a lot of really positive reviews saying that the moderators are good they're usually in there keeping the community clean and fun other reviews of course that are lower saying that the moderators are the problem having too much power but 81% five-star ratings and only 19% one-star rating give this still a pretty decent rating and nearly all the bad reviews seem to be because people got annoyed that they got kicked out by a moderator personally I think moderation is very important in a lot of these styles of games because you just never know what you're walking into in these lobbies so this might be one to actually check out from the list fish game was another game suggested to me by all of you as a gorilla tag clone although I will say fish game I think is one of the most unique games although it still uses the locomotion style of gorilla tag it reminds me more of like a rec room with its public lobbies people coming in and out and all the different mini games you can play where you're trying to get away from the nets from the fishermen swords modes where you're trying to kill each other and then of course the building mechanics and stuff too it really feels like a earlier version of like rec room with about a 4.2 rating and 334 rating this one is pretty well known. 73% of those are five stars. People saying that this is the best hand locomotion game that they really enjoy. And some people even complaining about the moderation, but still giving it high reviews. The very few one star reviews, it actually has either citing technical issues, people just giving them a one star review for no good reason, saying that the game is really fun, but they put it in the one star section on purpose. Or of course, people saying they were banned. Fish game is a lot of fun and is definitely quite different than Gorilla Tag. Monkey's Place probably has the most most cinematic and well done trailer of any of these clones here. This game, unlike some of them, also has in-game currency, but you get some every day just for coming in and joining, so you don't necessarily have to spend your own money to get the cosmetics if you save up. The game is another one landing at a 4.2 rating with 72% five stars. A lot of people saying that it's a really fun game, they met the owner, and even though people have given it some glitches, a lot of them are still giving it that five star rating. All of the lowest one star reviews citing glitches or 
losing all of your items after an update, all the cosmetics that they had saved up for. And of course that can be very frustrating if you saved up or if you actually were doing some in-game purchases to get those cosmetics. They do mention make sure and report any issues you have in the Discord if you do decide to try this game. Gorilla Royale has had a few iterations but was recently re-released on App Lab. It currently has nine ratings so far, barely above a four star. This is a Gorilla Tag locomotion style game where you're moving around with your hands, but you're picking up guns, shields, helmets, other items around the map and trying to kill all the other monkeys. The map has a unique setup where there's one big tower in the center and if you can get to the top of that, there's usually great items at the top, but you're fighting other people on your way up or you're fighting the locomotion style just trying to get there. Only two written reviews, one saying great game and others saying, why'd you take out the map? I know the few times I've played Gorilla Royale, it is hard to find a full lobby, so it's good. Get some friends since it's free. Get everyone at the same time and play it together. If you're getting tired of Monkey at this point, we'll take a break with Human Tag. Now in Human Tag, you are Kyle who lost his legs and you are adapting to movement with just your arms. Human Tag brings you that same locomotion but puts you in a more human environment. You're going around inside of houses, you can go around the neighborhood and see the very flat 2D houses from the outside. We're getting down to about four star ratings or just slightly above it here. 71% five star ratings and 19% one star ratings. And unfortunately at this point, the reviews are getting very spotty on how much information they actually give you. Best game, amazing game, crap, so good. <laughs> this game is one that with friends, it of course like most of these games, it can be a lot of fun, but if you check it out, maybe leave a little bit more in depth of review to help other people who are looking at it decide if they want to get it or not. We're now getting down to the just four star flat reviews, but keep in mind, a lot of these reviews can be really skewed because it, people on these Gorilla Tag clones just write the most random things in the review section. Monkey Flippers is a game about a monkey trying to find its way back to its home with the parents and can't seem to find its way. Four star rating is made up of 65% five stars and 22% one star ratings. People saying it's good, people saying it's the best, people saying it's not good because they wouldn't let them be a mod for the game. Although it's got a high percentage of one star reviews, very few of them actually wrote anything, so most of them are the higher ones. But what do you think? Is Monkey Flippers worth your time to check out? At this point we might be just falling into meme land, but Cheese Balls actually has a four star rating with 15 ratings. Run, climb, and be a cheese ball in Cheese Balls with multiplayer, a mirror, and some banging music. They care so much about the music that the top review says, please add an on and off button for the music. The developer responded simply, no. <laughs> I do appreciate that a little bit. I think the developer is trolling a bit and it's kind of funny. 60% five star ratings and 13% one star ratings. Very few written reviews, most of which are somewhat positive. Four out of five, five out of five, so hot. And people even trying to talk directly to the dev in the review section. Have any of you out there even heard of Cheese Balls? I'd be interested to know if anyone had heard of it or played it before. Now, Gorilla Soccer, not to be confused with Gorilla Soccer Online that we talked about at the very beginning of the video has the same copy pasted description as a lot of these gorilla type games it says it's an interesting vr sports competitive game gorilla locomotion inspired by gorilla tag free and play with other players at a four star rating 668 rating so a lot of people know about this game but because of server costs and space you are limited to 10 matches a day or you can pay to be able to use the servers more people are talking about this in the reviews that have 64 percent five star and 18 percent one star some people defending the developer saying server space costs money and so they can't just have unlimited server space. Some people saying that they don't like that having to pay for server space and that definitely has dropped it down quite a ways in the reviews. This is from the same developer as the newer Gorilla Soccer Online that does have a much higher review so if you're looking for a soccer game that's probably the version you want to download. We talked about Chimp Chase 2 earlier but now we're down to Chimp Chase 1 which is getting us down into that three star category. This is at about a 3.8 star and this has 34 ratings. 68% of those are five star, 26% one star, and they are all over the board in the reviews. From people asking, can they be a mod? People saying the game is terrible, but giving it five stars. People saying the game is bad and giving it one star. And just a lot of people asking for mod. I feel like once you get down below four stars in Gorilla Tag Clones, maybe they're not even worth checking out. But if you've been in Chimp Chase one or two, what did you think of it? Now, the Monkey Games actually has some of the coolest looking graphical style of the clones. I really think that the way they saturated it looks kind of nice 
place, but we're down in about a 3.7 territory with 136 ratings. One says, fix your game. Old review, how do I get in casual? The other, being a five star, says it's a good game, but they really want a horror mode to be added to it. The developer did directly respond and said they have a Discord and with their email address there. I do think I like the looks of this game, the different environments, the snow, the sand and stuff that they've done here. But have you ever tried out the monkey games? I'd love to know in the comments, was it worth your time? Now with Penguin Rush, we're trading in gorillas for being penguins. This has a lot of different things to do actually in this one, between sliding on the ice, racing, rock climbing, there's even a backroom style map and you can throw snowballs at each other. You're looking at about a 3.7 rating with 94 ratings, 51% five star, but you got some fours and threes helping that score stay up before the 22% one stars. Reviews being dragged down by people saying the servers are dead, no one's in there anymore, it's laggy and having glitches. I will say, I feel like these games are getting pretty bad as we get on this list and we're not even that close to the end of the list yet, so I'm getting pretty worried here. Mouse Runners is probably one of the most well-known ones on this list with 286 ratings, but about a 3.6 rating, which is a rough rating. You'll recognize a lot of familiar environments though, as you see the crystal caves, the back rooms, and your mouse bouncing around on between cheese and obstacles, different environments to play on, but this is definitely one I would caution anybody on, as a lot of people have said in the reviews that if you try to buy anything in the game, to buy the cosmetics, you don't end up getting the points or you, they just end up taking your money. People even saying it's a scam, in-app purchases, scams, you'll get banned, which is giving it a lot of one star ratings at 28% one star ratings. In good conscience, I don't think I can even leave a link in the description of this one because I feel like this is just too risky from everything that I've seen about this game. But as I promised, they're getting worse and worse as the list goes on. Monkey Mischief is a game I actually tried back when it was still working and it got better ratings back then, but now it has 2,300 ratings with about a 3.3 rating. Like everything else it seems on this list, of course, this is heavily inspired by Gorilla Tag. It's got the forest, the cave, creepy horror maps with AI. It's now down to 46% five star and 31% one star ratings. For people who can still even get the app open, they say it puts them in a black hole and they're just stuck there now. There is supposed to be another release coming up of this game, but I think this would have actually made it higher on the list if it had still been working for a while because I did have some fun in this back in the day. With only 14 ratings, Mouse Chasers isn't even actually available to get anymore on App Lab. It's down getting near the three star rating here and the reviews, of course, all over the place again. Fun game, five star. Best game ever, five star. This game sucks, one star. 50% five stars, 36% one star. We're really fine in the bottom of the heap here. Did you play this game back when it was working? Panda Playground is a free multiplayer game like Gorilla Tag, but there's a twist. You're a panda. Dear God. There's more. No. You may enjoy parkour climbing trees and bamboo and play with friends. 28 ratings on its way down to three stars. Game sucks. Glitched. I hate this game. And an honorable mention here at the end, Capuchin was actually the most suggested game that I put on this, but since they're between builds right now, I didn't include it on here. But it's the most suggested, and people seem to really like Capuchin. Whew, that was a lot. A lot of uh, games to try and get in and not have work. A lot of Gorilla Tag clones out there that just use the same assets and style. How many more can keep coming out? Do you actually play them when they do? I know Gorilla Tag is so hugely popular that some people go look for these other clones to see what they're like. Let me know in the comments why. But thanks for coming out and being here with me today, and I'll see you in another reality.